the word of god is alive and powerful sharper than any two edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow and it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart all scripture is god breathed and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness that the man of god might be mature thoroughly furnished unto all good works study to show thyself a prudent guard a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth or accurately handling the word of truth apostle paul quoting philippians 4:13 said in all i am being strong because of the one who is invigorating in me that is nothing but our lord and savior jesus christ the one who is enduring or endowment is none other but our lord our lord and savior jesus christ and because of that one i am being strong in each and everything because i have learned to be content this great truth which tells to us in each and everything that he was able to be strong because of the one who was invigorating in me or the one who was strengthening in him was our lord and savior jesus christ today the same principle applies to each and every believer in the lord and savior of our christ when you believe by faith alone in christ alone when you when you give your volition to tell to the point that you believe in christ that volition of a great reality that volition of a great truth that you have been permanently indwelled by the trinity and there is no one that can occupy in you apart from our lord and savior jesus christ and if there is anything that is going wrong it has to be in your thinking 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 when lord created adam he was sound in mind but today the way they induce thoughts into their into their minds have caused them to become the persons of great failures eventually ending up telling that that was an hereditary failure or in your hereditary there was someone who was not able to have a sound mind who was a psychotic or a neurotic or psychopathical conditions or to tell that what is the reason behind this and they have xyz reasons to tell it is because of this and because of that it has happened it has been happening all those things are pertaining to come straight from the mind of satan evil possession distorts your thinking that's why we have been told when you believe in the lord and savior jesus christ it is a renovation of your thinking in romans 12:2 you need to change your thinking pattern you need to look upon the standards of divine viewpoint rather than human viewpoint by changing your thinking and to change your thinking and your mindset it takes time investment of time in the knowledge of bible doctrine which could be taught for you through proper isagogical categorical and exegetical explanation of the word with the true dispensing technique of dispensations it has to be taught it has to be inculcated it is a day by day process it cannot happen in a overnight like the people of tongues they think the crowd of fundamentals they think when they are able to do pious deeds when they are able to gibberishly jump around and speak in tongues that's what it is enough for them to be absolutely concentrated no no way no chance at all when you speak in tongues you are still blaspheming my lord but not you are really being edified in your soul the real edification of your soul will comes in your thinking 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 and our lord intended in philippians 2:5 that we also need to have the same mind of christ that's why we have been given bible doctrine in our hands the completed canon of scripture in our hands not for any xyz trends and that's the reason where apostle paul tells the one who invigorates me the one who endures me with the power of lord lord god the holy spirit day and night and day and day because of him that is what lord get the holy spirit being controlling lord over paul through telling the indwelling permanence of lord, lord jesus christ tells i am being strong in all in everything no matter whatever it comes the height or depth in whatever state I mean wherever i have gone through i have been learned to be i have learned to be content 
what a great reality that we are not able to understand today in our churches, in our pulpits. No contention, no contentment. And that's what in Philippians 4.12, Apostle Paul tells, I am aware to be being made low, I have perceived to be superpounding in everything and in all I have initiated and being satisfied and to be in hungering and superabounding and to be being in want. That's what, dear brethren, I know both how to be abased, that is what to be content. And I know how to abound because I have learned what I am to be content. Because, not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned, I have learned, I have learned. That's what you need to think. Learning is a process. For I have learned, in whichever state I am, I am here to be content. And I will be content. And that is what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ looks on realm of each and every believer, thinking to be content. Greater our failure to understand the simple truth will yield them to become morons rather than reality in the truth. To have that enabling power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, of constantly controlling us, we require contentment. Contentment to be filled with the Spirit to rebound. And greater our failure to use rebound, we are out of content, and we will be looking upon earthly things rather than heavenly things. And that's what, dear brethren, you cannot be strong in each and everything where Lord appoints you if you are not able to understand the knowledge of Bible doctrine. So which way you want to go, you decide. We shall continue in the next step. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that I was going to fellowship with you through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, enlighten us to be content because of you who indwells in us so that we can look back and understand the reality to be strong, to be able to be strong in each and everything because of your power as we take in to the, through the knowledge of Bible doctrine. To this extent, we pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, enlighten us for we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.